Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can install or open running the Apache Kafka, how you can configure the topics, and also how you can subscribe to a specific topic which you define. So if you are interested in this topic, please stay with me. Let's get started. First, you need uh, <clears throat> go to the website of the Apache Kafka. I will drop the link of the, this, uh, the website in this tutorial and you can easily, you can find it. After you go to this page, you will find the version, which is the, basically it's updated the version. So you can see here now there is the, the this version is updated version currently in this time and probably when you are looking this video the version may change so you need to download this file uh, this file actually is a zip file and then after you download this file you have to extract this zip file so before I downloaded this file and I extract it so very quickly we will jump in on my folder to show you how you can go to and how you can up and running this server okay when you extract that zip file you will find such these uh, folders and for for the kafka then you have to come to the bin folder and come to the windows and run the cmd command for this uh, folder you can just type the cmd in this folder or you can direct the cmd file uh, for this file uh, for this folder okay now i directed navigate to this folder so you need to first open running the zookeeper in that case you would need to write the this command for the zookeeper don't worry for this uh, command i will drop this command again and uh, below of the, this video in the description you will find it so this first you need to up and running the zookeeper which is a very important part without this zookeeper will not work the kafka server so you have to uh up and running and uh, you can see this this is showing that the zookeeper now is up and running. The next step, you would need exactly the same C, uh, new CMD command and another command for uh, only the Kafka server. Okay, new CMD command. Now zookeeper still is running. You need to type this command for up and running the Kafka server. So after you run, it's uh, starting to configure the server of the Kafka. After that, your server already is set and then you're up and running the, the Kafka server, you would need to define the topic. So again, you need to open the new CMD command and now currently you have the two file one is as a uh, for zookeeper which is now is up and running another is for Kafka server so the third one you need for a topic to create the topic for the Kafka okay we open the new CMD command and we would need to write such this command for creating the topic let's go one by one to see that what is that first you would need to uh, say the kafka topic dot bab and then hyphen hyphen slash hyphen hyphen create for create the topic and this the address by default is uh, the bootstrap server or localhost 1992. 1992 is the local server of the 
uh, Kafka, which is internal. But if you want to provide it for external, definitely 1993. But this is for internal 1992. And then you have the replication factor, which I consider it as a one, which means that it's telling you uh, how many copy you want to have for each uh, message in, in, in the Kafka. So I, I consider it as a one. And also hyphen hyphen partitions one. Again, is asking how many partition you want. It's for uh, parallel, uh, parallel data. If you want to have it in different uh, nodes, then it's, you need to define it one, two, or more. But for me, I won't just have the one partition. I'm uh, giving as a one. At the last word is topic name. So hyphen, hyphen, topic then you would need to define the name of the that topic. What I would, uh, now I want to, I don't know, like 65, this is, this is the name which I am giving that, then just enter, you can find created topic test 61. So now your topic is created, and you can uh, define the some messages in this topic. And after you insert the some uh, message in this topic, you can subscribe the topic and consume the message from this topic. So let's continue to uh, add some data in this topic. And then we can also uh, configure the consumer. Okay, when you want to uh, add the data in that specific topic, you would need to write the Kafka hyphen console hyphen producer that bat slash hyphen hyphen bootstrap server hyphen uh, space localhost. 1992 space hyphen hyphen topic and the name of the topic. When you are entering this command, then it's ready to get the data uh, from your side and then save it in this topic. So in that case, you can write whatever messages you want for this topic. I prepared some message oh, we'll type it here okay now this message or is already saved in this topic we will go to a subscriber to see that how we can subscribe to this Kafka topic and then uh, whatever we are sending the data in this uh, topic we can see in the subscriber. Okay, I opened new uh, CMD file and I paste uh, some command Kafka console. Here you need to Kafka hyphen console hyphen consumer did bad. All uh, others are the same and also the topic should be the same topic. And if you want to see all the data, which from beginning, it's uh, uh, saved in this topic, then you can write from beginning, which I wrote as a from beginning. Then I am, yeah, you can see it's the data which already I uh, dropped in this uh, topic, you can uh, check and see as an online. For, for instance, just I want to give you some overview how it work. I am going to again copy and paste this data here 
and let me just bring it up and this one is here and you can see when I am you see the data as online it will be added to this consumer again if I'm doing So uh, this is this part, you can see this is the consumer and this is the, uh, the topic which you can ingest data inside. The last item, which I think it is also important for you to know about these uh, topics and, and so on, it's about to stop the server. When you want to stop this server, you also need to uh, tell to the this specific for the, the Kafka server and also Zookeeper to stop it. Otherwise, uh, your uh, Kafka broker will damage. So let's see together how you can stop the server. Okay, for stop the server, you just need to open the new CMD and write the Kafka server stop dot bat exactly the same uh, format and that's it the instance deletion successful now your Kafka server is stopped at the same uh, you have to do it for Zookeeper as well so you can also hear you need to type this command for stop the, the zookeeper that's on and now the zookeeper also stop the kafka server stop now everything is done okay thank you everyone for watching this video until end if you think this video was helpful please don't forget to like button and support me with your nice comments. If you have any question, do not hesitate to write it in the comments. Definitely, I will get back to you. And if you need some uh, tutorial about a specific topic, please let me know. Definitely, I will look into, the, in, into this topic and prepare some tutorial about that. Thank you again and see you in next one.